One of my favorite Tulip Court memories so far has been going and touring the Capitol. Not only did we get to walk up and go like outside above the dome, we also got to meet Kim Reynolds, which was, which was just like a really cool experience for all of us. My favorite Tulip Court memory was when our court went to Pella our year. Um, just because we got to spend so much time together as a court and our year it was extremely hot. It was like 90 degrees. So we just had to make the most of it and um, yeah, just being able to hang out all together was what made it so fun. For some reason, what I remember the most is our first day of the festival was May 18 and that was Jan Jana Blumendahl, Jana Harderson's uh -huh. um, golden birthday. Uh -huh. So we were just so thrilled, right? Because yeah. it's finally the day of the festival, like yep. it was finally here and we were eating cake and nice. just like having the time of our lives. Our year, it was really rainy. So we missed three of the parades because it was raining. Mm -hmm. But then we got to spend like so much more time in the bank basement. So that was fun because we just got to like goof around and have a good time down there. The first memory that comes to mind was um, our Pella year was the snow blizzard year. So um, it was a bummer, but I remember it being so fun because we kind of just embraced it and we had a snowball fight in our costumes. I feel kind of bad about that later, wool, but it was so much fun and we got to bond with the court in a totally different way because we didn't have events. So we got to just hang out with them, get to know them. We laughed a ton. Um, yeah, that was probably my favorite memory. So far, it's been a, a blast to hang out with all of these girls and spend time with them, and it's just really exceeded all of my expectations. Uh, my favorite Tulip Court memory is um, when we got to experience the Pella Tulip Festival. Um, that was just, it was a lot of fun just to go with the other um, gals on my court, and we um, were just able to see how different their festival was and um, form some new friendships with their girls and um, we just had a great time. Favorite tool court memory that I have was one time we were in Sioux City doing an interview, I forget where, but afterwards we went to McDonald's and it was still probably like 6 or 7 a.m. at that point and there were all these construction workers there and they were like, we just saw you on TV and we were like, no way! And it was just kind of like, oh, like people care and people heard about the festival and maybe they'll come. Tulip Court is an amazing experience. It's so much fun. You get to meet these amazing girls and just grow really close with them. And it's, it's, it's so much fun to represent Orange City. For me was the TikToks that we did, just because there wasn't like a ton for us to do during the actual festival last year since we didn't have it, but we had like we made it what we could, and it was a lot of fun to do the TikToks and just craft videos for kids. Just some encouragement in that time is one of my favorite memories, I think. When we got to go to the Capitol, it was super fun, just like the road trip there was super fun and like listening to music and stuff like that. Um, but also like the trek all the way to the tippy top of the Capitol, that was just like so many memories. We didn't bring other clothes to change into, so we had to like walk up there in our big dresses and everything. But that was definitely one of my favorite memories was just getting to the top and taking some fun pictures in our costumes. The first tulip queen that I'm gonna give credit to is Amy Halst. Um, that was my family's first tulip festival in Orange City. And I just will never forget seeing her in the strop market and she got free food I saw with these little tickets. And I looked at my parents and I was like, what? Why does she get free food? And they were like, oh, she's the tulip queen, you know. She's gonna get free food. And I looked at my parents and I was like, I want that. And lo and behold, a couple years later that happened, which is kind of fun and full circle, but then moving forward when I was a junior, I was next door neighbors with Carly Lang and watching her do everything was really, really fun. I cried more at her pageant than I did at mine. I was so happy she was the queen, <laughs> I was bawling. And then one year later when I became the queen, she was probably the most incredible role model and support system for me. Um, just because I could tell her everything and she understood it and gave the best advice and it 
just grew into a lifelong friendship that I can't imagine not having now. I also looked up to Cassie Baker because I was a page on the court that year. So just like all those girls were like my heroes because it was fun to hang out with them. I thought they were so cool. When I was in kindergarten, I had Mrs. Van Englenhoven mm -hmm. and her daughter, Julie, Julie Els was a tulip queen. And so I definitely thought she was just beautiful and so kind and we would get to see pictures of her. Um, and then growing up, she would come back to the festival with her little ones and she was a Walkerin costume like mine. Yeah. So I, for some reason, I just like think of her yeah. and her wonderful family. <laughs> I looked up to a lot of queens when I was younger. Um, my family always wore the Friesland costume and so in the mode show, we walked directly behind the queen in her court every single year growing up. So. Um, pretty much every year I looked forward to seeing the core and the queen and a lot of times they would talk to us. Um, I specifically remember Kelsey Johnson because um, she came and talked to us and we felt so special. When I was in grade school, I was able to be a page for Maria de Vries um, and um, at the time they had the coronation in the park and it was just such a, a fun um, thing to experience as a child and we just of course looked up to um, those gals and um, it was yeah they were just lovely and they um, included us in their little ceremony so that was that was very fun and special. A tulip queen that I looked up to was Juliana Teen. I just remember her having such a bubbly personality and she just loves loves the Dutch heritage that we have and loves Tulip Festival and her joy was very contagious so I always looked up to her. I would say for sure my sister Kenzie Achterhoff. I've looked up to her since I was as young as I can remember so it was easy to look up to her as a Tulip Queen. I would probably have to say Tanya Vandermolen because she was the Tulip Queen when I was Paige on her court. Um, so that was the first like experience that I had with the Tulip Court and I just remember looking up to these seniors in high school so much as a little girl. Um, it was really fun. But I do remember um, Juliana Pennings came to my second grade classroom um, because her little brother was in my class and that was like, oh my gosh, a big celebrity moment. And then I just, yeah, vividly remember her. So thanks Juliana for being a role model. <laughs>
Um, my sister obviously did the court the year before me and just had like a super good time. Also probably being a page, that was the first time that I was like, this would be so fun to do when I'm older. Um, get to just take part in the festival in a totally unique way. So um, yeah, little first grader I think was the first time I was like, I think I want to do this when I'm older. From a young age I always felt like I wanted to do it, but just like all the experiences to meet new people I think was something, and I love Tulip Festival and I love Orange City, and so being able to just like go around and yeah, like promote Tulip Festival was like the dream job, I guess, but it like wasn't even a job though. But um, yeah, just like getting to meet new people and like meeting the other girls on the court too was super, super fun. You grow up a part of it and you touch dance and you get to do all these things and you love the Tulip Festival. And as a little girl, you just look up to those girls mm -hmm. so much. Again, probably my sister. I got to see her experiences and just, yeah, how fun it was for her to represent the town and also just the different experiences she got to have while she was on it and also the relationships that she made with her court that she still has today. And that was definitely something I wanted to experience. I wanted to be on the tulip court because I got to see them every year at the festival and we spent so much time doing every single tulip festival activity we could when I was younger growing up. So it was kind of like the ultimate thing at tulip festival was to be on the court. My favorite part of Tulip Festival, I think, is the food, um, but also like Dutch dancing and seeing everybody come out and just like hang out downtown, kind of like before everything starts um, hop up again, like just seeing everybody be together um, is like one of my favorite things. Oh, it's so hard to pick, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta love the beautiful tulips and obviously the food, um, but I think there is just nothing like those three days when the sun is shining, hopefully it's shining, and um, everyone comes out and then people come back home for it. Um, so just getting to see people and everyone's out on the street and happy and spring is coming and I don't know, it's like you can, even like when spring comes, don't you just like smell it in the air? It's like, oh, it's tulip time. <laughs> I love just seeing everyone out around town and that there's like so much variety of stuff to do. Um, yeah, because you can just show up and there's always people to talk to and things to eat and things to do. And so I think the variety of it is really fun. Something that my family and I have chose to do is to be a part of the mode show. And um, so that just is something that, that I love. I love to see all of the costumes and all of the work that goes into creating them. And um, I just love to see all of the local people and um, those who have moved away come back. and and be involved in that way. So that's that's my favorite part is um, the mode show. One of my favorites is just that first moment, first parade when the band starts playing and the floats start going and you can just feel the excitement on the streets. That it brings people home that you haven't seen for a whole year. Um, I personally find Tilt Festival even better than Christmas and Thanksgiving combined. So I just think it's fun that there are probably like at least 10 more people that feel the same way and they'll be back at the festival. And it's so fun to see them and catch up. And it just feels like those three days are like orange juice concentrate, like the best three days of the whole year. The food, <laughs> classic answer, but I don't, it's hard not to, it's so good. My favorite part of the festival, for sure the food. <laughs> popper juice is the best. Um, I also have a pan at my house and make popper juice for my friends sometimes in the cities. So, yeah, definitely the food. I feel so brand new. Whoa.